What's up world, it's Dows with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to fix lag and S-Health crashes when you're using the exposed framework on a Galaxy S5. Many users, myself included, have experienced lag and other issues on their Galaxy S5 after installing the exposed framework. In extreme cases, S-Health stops working altogether, but at a minimum, the phone seems to run a bit slower in general. But you don't have to uninstall Exposed, unroot your phone, or even disable S-Health to fix this issue. A simple build.prop edit will solve this problem, allowing you to reap the benefits of root and exposed while keeping the functionality that S-Health brought to your phone right out of the box. To begin though, you'll need to temporarily uninstall the exposed framework. Not the exposed installer app, but the framework itself. You can do that by heading to the framework section of your exposed installer app and tapping uninstall. After a second or two, exposed will let you know that the framework was uninstalled, so press OK on this message to reboot your phone. So once you get back up, you'll need to grab a feature-rich, root-enabled file browser. I'll be using FX File Explorer to demonstrate here, since it's a rock-solid option that's available for free on the Play Store. If you opt to go with FX as well, just make sure you also have the root add-on installed, which can be found in the More from Developer section of FX's Play Store page. But first, go ahead and open your file browser, and with FX, you'll have to accept the license agreement and view a quick feature tour on first run. Then from here, tap System Root to head to the root partition of your device. After that, open the System folder. Then tap the lock icon at the top of the screen to mount this folder as read-write so that you can edit files in here. Next, find the build.prop file and long press it. Then select Open With from this next menu and Text Editor from the one after that. There's only one small line that we need to change in here. You can find it near the bottom under the Additional Build Properties header. It may take a bit of poking around before you find it, but it's the one that reads RO Secure Storage Support equals True. Now without messing with the first part of this line, simply delete the true from the end. Instead, we're going to replace that with the word false. So you don't have to change anything else in here. Just make that true read false. And with that out of the way, tap the three dot menu button at the top of the screen and select save. At this point, the build.prop file is edited the way it should be, but you'll have to reboot your phone before Android will load up your changes. Rather than doing that right away though, let's wrap up a couple of other things first. So next, head to settings then scroll all the way to the bottom and select Application Manager. In here, swipe over to the All tab. This is every app that's installed on your phone, so the list will probably be pretty big. But there's only two in here that we're concerned with, S-Health and its parent app, Health Service. So tap Health Service when you find it, then on this next screen, press Clear Data and hit OK on the pop-up. Next, back out to the list of all your apps and scroll through until you find S help. And here, do the same thing. Hit Clear Data, then press OK. With that out of the way, the only thing left to do now is reinstall the exposed framework. So open up your exposed installer app again and head to the framework section one more time. Next, just tap the Install Update button, and after a few seconds, the app will inform you that another reboot is needed. So press OK on this message, and your phone will reboot automatically. When you get back up, the lag will be gone, and S help will work perfectly. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.